Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about disabling the registry editor in Windows 10. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So there's going to be a couple of different methods here. So if you're running Windows 10 Professional Edition or higher, I would suggest going through the local group policy editor method, which would be the first one I'm going to go through in this tutorial and that would entail opening up the star menu type in local group policy best match should go back of edit group policy go ahead and left click on that want to now go ahead and expand the administrative templates section so underneath user configuration we're just going to collapse the computer configuration section and then directing our attention underneath user configuration expand administrative templates so go ahead and double click on that double click on the system folder and now on the right side there should be something that says prevent access to registry editing tools go ahead and double click on that select the disabled option if you want to disable the registry editor then select apply and okay so once you've done that now you will have to restart your computer in order for the change to take effect and that should have been able to lock down the registry editor again you will have to restart your computer another thing you can go ahead and try if you're on Windows 10 Home Edition so this is basically if you do not have access to the local group policy editor would be to open up the star menu type in reg edits so R-E-G-E-D-I-T best match to go back to registry editor you want to right click on that and then select run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt select yes now before you proceed in the red sheet, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab. Select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be set to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, just put select file and then import. And navigate to the file. So pretty straightforward. Once you've made your backup, we're ready to begin, and we're going to start by expanding the HKEY Current User folder, so double click on that. Double click on the Software folder. Double click on Policies. Should be a Microsoft folder, double click on that. Double click on Windows. And now you want to locate a System key under here. If you do not see any System key, you want to right click on the Windows folder. Select New, and then select Key. Type in System. If you need to pause the video at this time, you can take note of the path that we've gone on at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone on, and we just created the system folder as you can see right here. And now on the right side, you want to click inside of a blank area. So again, right click, left click on new, and then select DWORD 32 bit value. Type in disable registry tools. All one word in the D in Disable, the R in Registry, and a T in Tools should all be capitalized. I will have as well in bigger letters on the screen in this video. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and double click on it. Set the value data to 1, so delete the 0, type the number 1. Left click on OK. And now the registry editor has been disabled once you have restarted your computer. If you ever want to reverse what you did by going through this method, you can always just delete the system folder that we created a little earlier or you can just delete the D word value, it doesn't really make too big of a difference, it achieves the same end result. So, pretty straightforward process here guys, do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.